Welcome back everyone. Today, we've got a fun video lined up for you. We're going to be going over this new Miller Cordless Coffee Brewer I got off of Amazon. Alright? I'm going to do it by the book here. Now we got exactly a full cup of water that goes into it. I got my coffee, or my coffee measure. My measuring cup, so we're going to see exactly how many ounces this thing brews. Because I made one cup, and let me tell you, it is strong and bitter. Ooh. Ah, it's like I like my coffee. Woo! I'm hair on your chest. Holy cow. All right, go over to the coffee maker real quick. It comes with, let's see how many ounces this holds. Two cups of water. Or about 600 milliliters. You see that? Put it right there. Yeah, so 600 milliliters, right on the money. So that is for the back water container. It does have a nice little um, rubber seal in there, so hopefully it won't leak on you. Kind of click it in place here. There you go. Now, it does only have a very short, maybe about an eight inch cord here. It does seem like it's a little bit thicker. It's not tiny, like 18 gauge. It's pretty big, I, if I had to guess. The inside wires, I'd say, are probably 14 to 12 gauge. Decent size. We're going to be using my uh, knockoff 8 amp hour battery. This has two rolls of the 21700 cells in it. It's fully charged up. Fully charged up. We'll also be testing it on 2 amp hour. See if we can uh, use that as well. Now it comes with this little basket of coffee. It's probably perfect, like two scoops. Fits right in there. I can get it shut. Seriously, Al, come on. And all it does is just slides in like that, and you just go like that. So we're going to time it. I broke it already. Seriously? See, this is why you got to test these things. Is it really worth $100 on Amazon? What the frick? Is that crap? What the hell did I break? latch on the basket broke. Way to go. Oh, there you go. $100 coffee maker. I just broke the freaking little basket. Gosh. We'll brew it without the stupid basket in there. All right, got in there. Turn the power on. Let me show you. Let me close for this. See how it's teal, it means it's on. I think when it's red, it does get red, I think that's when it's heating up. So that means it's ready to brew, I believe. The instructions didn't really say anything. Put the cup it came with underneath here, put the flap down. Reservoir's full. Oh, battery's down one bar, so it must be heating up. Oh, it's already brewing. That was a lot faster than the first time I did it. Let's see exactly how many ounces it brews, because it doesn't tell you in the instruction manual. It's not very much. I thought it was maybe eight ounces, maybe four, five. Mmm. Man, that's bitter. All right, still down one bar while she is brewing. It's very slow, it just trickles. Yeah, see that okay? Free handed here, and just show you. It's close up. I know, very exciting video watching <laughs> hot water brew. But a lot of guys like these portable, like the Makita 40 volt microwave, and people were going ape shit over that thing. I'm like, seriously, guys? I don't know, I don't get it. I mean, I do get it, but I wouldn't pay $1,000 to heat up my freaking burrito on the job site. No. This, 100 bucks goes on sale, 75 bucks. why not? That way you don't have to worry about uh, inverters and whatnot in your truck. All right. Come on. See, before, when I had... 
just the um, Schitt's Creek cup in here. Oops. It splattered coffee all over the back, so it's very messy. Still going. Been what, good two minutes? I'm sure you could order a new basket, but look, the little tab on the front just broke off. A piece of junk. You think for a hundred bucks they'd send you give you two of these? Oh, it's not Miller, it's Millif. M-E-L-L-I-F. I thought that was an R. Millif. Millif. Come on. How's everyone been doing? Crazy busy. Just trying to spend as much time with the baby girls as, as I can since they're the last ones. Last kids were sterilized. You know, no more kids. So just trying to enjoy that, the time with them. My two year old's getting so big. So freaking. It's probably why I threw my back out yesterday at work. Probably from lifting up her big butt. She's like 40 pounds and she's like, oh, gotta be over three feet tall. She's so tall. Ridiculous. I hope she's not over like six foot five when she's older. Oh my gosh, finally. Nope, still going. Trickle, trickle, dribble, dribble. It does come with this lid, but it's just a locking lid. There is no like loosen it and sip feature. You know, like oh, coffee um, cups have that little, you can loosen it and they sip it. This doesn't have that. And it's a very cheap, very cheap um, stainless steel cup very cheap all right let's dump it and see how many ounces it wow exactly eight ounces one cup my big coffee cup yeah i don't think i brewed that much the first time weird must not have got a full um cycle of water in it all right there you go it Went out, see now my battery has rebounded back up to full bars. Let's try a quick um, cycle on the two amp hour. Fully charged up two guys. Okay, so now it's red, it's blinking red. Let's see what happens. Then it goes green, pop it open, close it again, brew. Oh, it sucked the two down to one bar right away. See that? And it's heating up. Yeah, so it's flashing teal. It means it's heating up. So hopefully you can do it on a small two amp bar battery. You guys see the water reservoir about halfway. So we'll see how much it uses when we're all done. It stays cool, there's no like super hot spots on it. I mean, it's a little tiny bit warm right here, but that's just from the hot water, I assume. Battery, one bar, see if the battery's hot. Oh yeah, the battery's a little warm. Come on. 80, at 82 degrees, considering it's about 68 degrees out here, or just under 70 degrees out here, in Minnesota. Oh, there we go, 101. Come on, this thing's slow. This is the instructions. One page, excuse me, two pages, and then two pages of nothing. It's just stapled together, eight by 11 printer paper. <laughs> Cracks me up. Here we go, 112. That's bath water, it's not very hot. I know it's hotter than that. All right, let's test the water while she's still brewing. Come on. 
come on. 120. Yeah, that's pretty hot. I see that. Highest I hit was 120. And here, 84. Yeah, 119. So one, about 120 degrees. That's just that's about just right for coffee. Let's see what I mean by all the splash, like how messy it is. All right. So you can probably get two. I'd say three cups because this much left in the reservoir. Two amp hour battery is down to one bar. Let's see if we can get two loads with the two amp hour battery. Roo. Flashing. Oh, dead. Oh. Will it do it? See, the battery's totally dead. Look at that. Ooh, the battery's really hot now. Ninety-two. You see that? Or ninety degrees on the battery. Let's suck this thing down real quick. Oh, rebounded up to one bar. So you can get two pots on a two amp hour battery. It's not bad. And not much water left. Oh, look. It's flashing red. That means the battery is dead. See that? So take it back and get one brew on a two amp hour battery. There you go, guys. I hope you like that quick little review of the M I or M E L L I F Millif coffee, cordless coffee brewer from Amazon. Totally heated up, sucked down a two amp hour battery. So if you got the bigger batteries, no problem. I ran two cycles on this and it's still fully charged up. Um, Ninety nine bucks. If you're interested, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link down below. Help out the channel. It's not bad though. Kind of slick. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't like it. So I'm neutral on it. Uh, stick around guys, a lot of stuff coming out, it's been busy, you know how life is, life's busy. It's not a full time channel, it's only a part time channel, sorry about that guys. And if you guys like true crime, um, check out my wife's true crime podcast, I'll put links down below, it's called Bleak, like the outlook is bleak, it's all about true crime. My wife uh, covered the Ohio, or yeah, the college murder, the Idaho, Idaho State College murder, like in depth detail, like she knows her stuff, I mean she like, she loves true crime and that's she knows more than a lot of people do so if you really like true crime check it out guys bleak i'll put the link down below much love hit that bell hit that subscribe so you don't miss out on future content guys we will be doing a 20,000 subscriber giveaway if i can ever get up there come on guys subscribe hit that bell my peeps much love have a blessed night guys see you